Welcome to Bonifacio Global City, or commonly known as BGC. This modern, highly urbanised business and commercial district is located in the southeast of Manila. It is home to some of the world's biggest companies and also some leading entertainment. We've heard a lot about BGC, so we've come here today to experience it for ourselves for the very first time, so a jump on board for this adventure. The very first stop on our adventure here in BGC is the Venice Grand Canal Mall. As you can see from behind me, this mall has kind of got a Venice European style with even a Grand Canal that runs through it that you can take a gondola boat through. Sounds crazy. We're going to head inside, walk around and check this place out. They've definitely gone all out with this Venetian style mall. As soon as you enter, you agree with this Grand Canal, it is really actually amazing. They've definitely put some money in this. It's quite cool. Spread all throughout this mall, they've got some mines, some caricatures, and we've even got a man right there. Look at him, he's waving the camera. I really love this little boardwalk area they have right by the canal and they've got restaurants on the other side. It's really beautiful just to walk along and around here. The effort they've put in and the detail on the building, the canal, it is so beautiful. So I think this is definitely the popular photo spot. You go up these stairs and look at that. So this Grand Canal behind me is 656 feet long, which sounds amazing to go for a little ride down a gondola. And then also on either side, it features a three-story mall full of shops. The restaurants here all seem very high quality. This place is blowing my mind of how cool and well-made it is. I think this is a sign of what's to come for the rest of the day here in BGC. BGC feels like a completely different country. It is so massive and modern and all the shops and buildings are very spaced out. There's a lot of space. It's not jam-packed like other parts of Manila. And also it is crazy clean here. It's so clean and green. We're gonna look around for some food here. I saw online that there's a delicious Southeast Asian restaurant that's rated insanely well. I just have no idea where this place is. So this whole area is called the Terraces and it looks over this lovely green forest that we just passed. So it looks over this lovely green forest area and then we have a bunch of restaurants all scattered along next to us and I think we finally found the place. So this place is called Sane and they do a whole range of kind of South Asian fusion dishes. They all look spectacular and I think we've got our eye on a few. It looks good, it has such a massive selection variety. I'm actually drawn to the smaller dishes, I might get a few try. A bit too early for a cocktail, but I've got a very iced tea which looks really good. Oh man, that's probably the best iced tea, iced tea I think I've ever had. We may have accidentally gone overboard with our food order here, but it all just looked amazing and it's arrived so beautiful, so pretty. I can't wait to get involved in this. First I'm going to try the Rendang Pao, which obviously is a Rendang meat with the famous Pao bun. Mm. Oh my god, that is unbelievable. It's like the best Rendang curry in this bun, fried. That's not my socks so off, 10 out of 10 already. So next up is Roddy with some sweet peanut curry. I do love a, a good peanut curry, so... Wow. Oh my goodness. It's like a sake sauce, but in a curry form, and it is delicious. That is like a 12 out of 10. This place is doing so well so far. The food is absolutely amazing. 
time by the California would look capable. Mm. Ah. Can of great flavors, the noodles are beautiful, chicken noodles. That is a delicious Thai curry. I can't fault that at all. Oh. 10 out of 10. 2 out of 10. So we we're having lunch and we're trying to figure out where to go next and then we see a sign that said the Mind Museum. No idea what that is, but I see a T-Rex crossing. So tickets for the Mind Museum are 625 peso per person for like a three hour block period. No idea what to expect. Oh, we've got an, a robot. What have we got here? This looks like a really cool, like, sciencey museum, I think. So, not your traditional kind of yeah, historical, but this really like a modern kind of matches obviously there's a BGC area which everything is so nice and new and technology is very in the forefront but this looks really cool to spend a few hours here. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so busy! I keep wanting to go this way. My, I want to go right. Yeah, same. He's going crazy. Oh my gosh, just look at it. Oh no! So we're just walking through High Street right now and boy oh boy this place is so massive. You could have, I'm, I'm guessing maybe they might have like some events or stalls here but there's not that many people which makes it quite nice. There is a fair bit of public artwork and even some playgrounds scattered around the BGC area so it's quite nice just to walk the streets. It's also so beautiful around here with the greenery, the courtyard, so definitely recommend coming around here. It is a Friday afternoon so I thought it might have got a little bit busier but the more I walk around this high street the more I'm just flabbergasted by the quality of shops. There's these pop-up donut stores, everything looks delicious. Everything's like on a scale above anything we've seen in the Philippines before, let alone worldwide within Asia. So we're just walking the streets and we've even now got a soccer football pitch Hi right guys. behind us. Hello! Hi. Really nice football pitch there, right in the heart of BGC. We've heard that there is a kind of nightlife area, shopping mall district that's a few blocks um, away from us. So we're just heading there to check what it's all about. So right across from one another, we have two shopping malls. We've got Uptown Mall, so Uptown Mall, and then Swing Around, and then we've got Uptown Parade. Not sure which one we're gonna go to. They both look really nice. I think this one behind me, Uptown Parade, is known for the nightlife and drinking area. There's even a fountain show going on right over here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they see flames going. What? Fire? <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? This is... Uh, I may, maybe fake that we came here at the exact time that they're having this show, but why is there fire going on at a shopping mall? If this bewilders me, but I mean it's entertaining. <laughs> We've got these really cool like roadside pop-up places. This is, looks like a Middle Eastern restaurant behind us with a food truck. And then we've got a place called Tulum which another roadside but this looks really wicked i think this is probably mexican this would be my guess oh yeah that'd be cool eh? it's 
food and restaurant game in BGC is on a, another level anywhere else. It is definitely competing with Bangkok, if not slightly better and nicer than a lot of Bangkok. This is unbelievable. Hayley has spotted this pop-up little caravan place called La Latina, which do a combination of cocktails and just like tapa Mexican, Latin American, some like tacos burritos and salsa pretty simple but then you get a lovely seat out in the open air to cool off because we are pretty overheated from walking in the sun yes it's margarita time cheers oh, yes. oh. oh my gosh that is so good mm. <laughs> why are you doing your leg because i'm so overheated right now i'm just like Trying to put the coldness on my body to pull me down. Time for these, was it quesadilla? Mmm. Mm. Messy. Right. Solid meal. Mmm. Oh, yum. We think we'll quickly stop here at was it Randy's Donuts. As the, was it? Thank you. Randy's Donuts, as we've seen these everywhere in BGC, but n never in the Nakatai where we're staying, so we're like, we must try it. I'll kind of grab this. We've got a maple filled Long John Donut. Mm. Oh man. Oh, that's so good. That is a solid, solid, sugary donut. Randy tastes good. Meditation. <laughs> it's really heavy though. Mm. So I think that's gonna wrap us up for today's adventure here in BGC. BGC completely exceeded our expectations. It's like we've been transported to an entirely different country that has this nice new modern city. We absolutely loved our time here walking around and definitely recommend you check it out. Between the shops, the restaurants, the museum, it has been a great place to come and marvel at and just go through a jaw dropping experience. So don't sleep on that subscribe button, hit that bell. And say hi to us in the next video.